<clears throat> first, I want to welcome you to my home. I feel so honored that you're able to join me here today, Yasmin. It's such a privilege for me because especially during these times with Corona, it's been so hard to actually have people over and even have these interviews face to face or one to one. Yeah. But I just want to thank you so much for coming here today. Um, I think I'm going to start the ball rolling by just asking you one of the most important questions. Who has been your biggest inspiration in your cooking and in your life when it comes to anything in the kitchen? Who do you think has been your greatest inspiration? So I believe that my greatest inspiration is definitely my grandmother. Um, I remember like growing up, she always used to cook massive feasts for all of our family members. Like I remember all of my cousins and my uncles and my aunties, everybody coming over to my grandmother's house and she would just cook for everybody, maybe 25 to 30 people. And um, I think that was just something all that the way back from my childhood <laughs> that just stuck with me, you know, and she never complained. She loved doing it. And I think that's just something that, you know, I can see in my within myself as well. I just love to cook for others, for my loved ones. And yeah, my grandmother is definitely one of my biggest that's inspirations something. and I'm so grateful I still have her in my life. Yeah, well, we can definitely see that, especially everything that you've been putting out lately and you know, you can see, I think, I mean, I can see the love in a lot of the, the dishes that you prepare, mm -hmm. um, besides looking very delicious. <laughs> but I think they just, you know, the way that they're composed and, you know, all the ingredients and everything that you choose to use, you know, everything looks, you know, really well thought out. So I can see that there is love and passion definitely yeah. in your cooking. <laughs> um, I'd like to also mention, I know before... I mean, obviously, with all your creativity and, you know, the, the effort that you put in into your brand, Exquisite Mass, um, you know, again, I mean, I, the minute I met you, I, I just fell in love. I think it was the same day that you had your band launch and I yeah. just fell in love <laughs> with these costumes. And I was so actually, again, I was yeah. so honored because I got to wear one of your creations yeah. um, a couple of carnivals ago. Was it last? No, the year before. Yeah. 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 And I was so, <laughs> and everything just fits so well. And, but I, I really noticed about, I guess, the... The professionalism mm -hmm. in the way that everything had been organized and also the um, the effort that you put into your products and now I see that you're going in another direction with food so I want to ask um, why chip and flavor and why mm -hmm. this whole brand and why the cooking and you know getting this brand out there yeah so um, you mentioned exquisite mass that is my um, carnival mass band that I started it like 2019 so it's still quite fresh and young, but um, yeah. But it's international. Yeah. <laughs> it's international. It's yeah. been all over the place, yes. Yeah, you know, we're starting out, but we're doing big moves, <laughs> kind of. Um, and chip and flavor. Um, I mean, I always loved cooking, especially when I was living um, abroad in the West Indies. I just really loved the food. And when I came back to Europe, I kind of started missing that food. Mm -hmm. And I started to cook, you know, Caribbean food in the middle of Germany and in the UK. So it was like bringing a little piece of the West Indies to Europe in mm -hmm. my own home, in my own kitchen. And, um, you know, during the lockdown, I just started to cook way more and um, engage with my following. And so then, you know, I started my um, little food blog on Soaked and Soka. Yes. So, so that is um, chip and flavor. And I basically share a new recipes every week. Um, sometimes it's like super authentic, traditional recipes. Sometimes it is more fusion recipes. I love, yes, I was going to say yeah. that I love the fusion recipes. Yeah, it's yeah. like a really different take. You know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So it's like, um, it really depends. And I feel like the beauty of, Caribbean cuisine is that it is so versatile and it has so many different influences whether it's like um, from the Spanish or French or Creole um, Indian influence and I think all of that comes together really beautifully and even if you don't live in the West Indies you still can create a little piece of the Caribbean beauty in your own home. And this is what I say to so many people. You yeah. know, we can still bring the sunshine back, yeah, back with us from holiday or yeah. even when we visit. We can still have it here definitely. in Europe for sure. But I think too also with any kind of business, um, and I mean, you're, 
you're a young person in the business world for quite some time now mm -hmm. and um, what have you found has been sort of like the main challenge for you as a woman mm -hmm. trying to develop you know your brands and trying to you know get a, get sort of like a, a platform for I think not just your brands but also for your vision out there mm -hmm. what have you found is the biggest challenge um, well it really depends I think as a millennial in business in general I think we have a lot of a lot of different challenges it's just how you maneuver within those challenges and how you if you are anchored within yourself um, and I think the biggest um, the biggest tips I could give is like your vision mm -hmm. um, your vision really needs to be very very clear mm -hmm. um, you got to know what you do why you do it and how you want to do it and your vision should not be shaken by any outside circumstances your vision doesn't change just because you're like we're in a global pandemic your biz your vision stays the same your strategy might ha might have to change, change yeah. <laughs> but the vision the actual message the goal um it always stays the same and that is something that you really need to be clear about another point is like um being very very efficient in how you work and why you do your work and efficiency doesn't necessarily mean a lot of sales that is also that something that I have learned efficiency means um, impact and strategy um, does the work that I do have value to the community that I work in mm -hmm. and um, that is also another really valid point I think Another thing is like have your ducks in a row, have a solid team. And I know mean, you always talk about that. Yeah. You, know, you always talk about having yes. a solid team. Yes, and, you know. like you gotta have your ducks in a row because the thing is if you wanna if you wanna go far in business, you can't do it alone. And that is something that I had to learn personally um the hard way and um you gotta have people around you that share the same vision and that wanna see you and your business reach new heights as well yeah and i think the last thing i would mention is like sacrifice don't be afraid to make any sacrifice you you gotta make you gotta take risks you like, have to take it's, risks. like you have to make sacrifice because growth doesn't happen in comfort zones mm. growth happens when you get uncomfortable and you sacrifice certain things whether it's your sleep your personal time um, your money that you invest into your your business you got to get very very uncomfortable in order to reach new levels of, um, of efficiency of success I think too I know with you you know you also have quite a solid foundation in your own spirituality like yeah. myself you know we're very grounded in God yeah. um, and I think that you know has helped us so much in developing ourselves and and also how, how we conduct business mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm thinking now about the future mm -hmm. and where do you see yourself in the future and how do you see this brand growing and developing into something that you, you know, that really fills in with your vision? Mm -hmm. Well, um, Chip and Flavor started off as a hobby and it still is a hobby for me and a passion. Um, but I am engaging in Caribbean culture and Caribbean cuisine, so it is my duty to also give back. And um, I'm currently working on my ebook. Yeah. So there so will be a recipe ebook coming for Easter this year, which I'm very very proud of. And so excited. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and it's it's a lot of hard work, and again, it's a lot of sacrifice, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm very very proud of it, and a hundred percent of the generated money will go towards charity wow. in the West Indies. So it will go towards um, Food for Poor Jamaica. Um, it's Very like a yeah, it's a really cool organization. They are um, from the states, but they engage in a lot of different countries in Latin America and then the in the West mm -hmm. Indies. Um, yeah, providing food and like healthcare for people in need. So Fantastic. yeah, if you get the ebook, you basically support um, you know poor families in in Jamaica. Well, that's what it's called being a good role model. <laughs> Thanks, so, you know, If more people can follow in your footsteps, this <laughs> world you. would definitely be a better place. Thank you. But I really, again, want to thank you so much 
for joining me here today. Like I said, I just feel immensely privileged that we're able to do this face to face. Yeah. Um, it is sometimes a struggle just doing this on a Zoom meeting, yeah, but definitely. you know, I'm just so happy that you you came here and mm. you know you spent this time with me and you know and sharing all of this with you know the audience. So again, thank you so much, and we wish you the ultimate success. Because I, I so know, much. I know you you're gonna succeed in everything that you do. Thanks. But thank you so much again <laughs> thank for coming. You. Thank <laughs> you so much for having me. I really appreciate it, and I'm so grateful. You know, to be um to have this opportunity with you, and I'm also very very proud of the brand that you are creating and the platform that you are creating. Thank you for, you know, I feel very honored to actually be part of this. So thank you for that as well. Yeah, we got to raise each other up. You <laughs> Definitely. <know>? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you as well.